What is going on guys? Welcome to another JPOV here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shovel Knight, a game for the PC, 3DS, and Wii U, which sounds a little odd, but I think once we get into the actual game, you'll understand why it's on the 3DS and the Wii U. Uh, this game was developed by Yacht Club Games, fantastic developer. They kickstarted this back in, I believe, 2011, had a uh, $75,000 goal, Ended up making $311,000. It's a two-bun game. And if you are someone that played old-school games like DuckTales, Mega Man, Mario 3, Castlevania, the original Castlevania, none of this 3D shit, then you're going to be really familiar with this game. But real quick, we'll just take a look at the options. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. I'm playing with a uh, MLG Pro Controller, a 360 pad. But uh, you can totally just choose what you want. Playing uh, full screen with no border. It's fine. V-Sync is enabled. Now, since this is a uh, 60 FPS game and I'm recording at 30 FPS, there might be some issues in my character going invisible. I was noticing that yesterday with capture. Hopefully that didn't show up in this capture. We're going to be jumping into a uh, game that's uh, killed a couple of bosses. We won't show too much of uh, stuff. But you can already tell right now, I mean, this is Super Mario 3 right here. Like, straight up. Straight up. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump into the village. So, what is this game? Well, it's two button. You can jump. You can, well, that's special attack. You can jump. There are some different weapon unlocks that you can get, like this charge and like that. There's also horses that you can talk to. I have not fished yet. I have not fished yet. You get this little stuff. When you first walk into that town, he tells you to please uh, give him your weapon. Let's have him play a song. I know exactly what song. This is a great song. Oh, man. The music in this game is more than enough uh, of worth of a purchase. It's only 15 bucks, but the, the composer Jake Kaufman just made some beautiful chip tunisk music that is so good and the reason that i continue playing is to go further and further into all these new zones and all these new levels and hear this new music it's just it's awesome it's great i love it so much i love it so much uh so you can increase your hp and your uh mana which is underneath item up top there it's 80 but uh, let's just get into some action here Gonna hit this catapult, we'll launch ourselves in between the next town, and then just zone out. Now I'm using the uh, gold armor; it does nothing. Uh, what what could I show here? Let's go back to one of the earlier stages. Let's let's hear my favorite music in the game. Here, Pride More Keep. At least the, my favorite music that I've heard. God, this is so good. So you can shovel stuff. Much like you can do there. Oh, I almost just died. Because I wanted to show the death mechanic, not because I'm bad. God. Uh, so I only can do that, uh, like, swipe thing when I have full HP. See there that you can destroy that stuff. Oh, shit, I forgot about that guy. You can also do the pogo stick, a la DuckTales. Controls feel very tight. They work very well. It does pretty much exactly what you want them to at all times. And uh, this is pretty much Shovel Knight. I mean, that's that's the game, but I'm just going to keep playing because it's so fun. And I'll show you guys some of the levels. Uh, it's very Mega Man-esque. The mobs don't load until you get the, the full map load. Difficulty-wise, uh, it's not the most difficult game. It's also not the easiest game. There are some difficult uh, platforming portions of the game that you can find. Towards the later levels, we'll show one off here in a sec. Oops, that's a uh, magical ability. You can see that uh, I have a couple here. Warhorn and some different stuff for different things. I use this because I can basically phase out of uh, existence for a little while. These are all the relics that I have. Well, apparently I have max magic capacity. Oh, never mind. I don't. I think that goes up to 100, I would assume. 
So yeah, I've collected 21 of 46 musical sheets and the meal tickets. Alright, let's, uh, let's kill these guys. Uh, the game has a lot of charm to it in the sense that in the dialogue, there's no spoken word, so it's all text, but... Well, uh, I know I know the best place to show that off. So we'll show that here in a bit. It's also got stuff like this. Secrets. Or you just pick up extra money. These are checkpoints, but you can also destroy them. I've never actually destroyed one before. I think you just get more money. So let's go get that. Now, hopefully I don't die, because I will lose all this. Just some more HP. Um, that guy comes alive, I think. Come on. There we go. Boom. Owned him. Oh, that's really helpful against those guys. <laughs> I can just shoot that across the map. Oh shit, I can't get that now. Can I reload this? See if I can make those mobs come back. Oh hell yeah, I can. Come here, motherfucker. Boom! I'm the best shoveler this world's ever seen. Uh, let's hit this checkpoint. Oh shit, I forgot about that. See my life up top. I have a lot. Remembered that from the last time I was here. I did lose some HP though. Let's get that gold. Uh, so this is a secret. I gotta time this properly. There we go. There we go. It's obviously pretty self explanatory. See this guy over here? He's excited. Now, I've already got this stuff from him, uh, but you can that's where you unlock uh, certain items. So I think the item that I unlocked there... Oh, let's actually do this. The item that I unlocked there was this flare ward. I like these dust knuckles, though. Perfect. Is there any secrets there? No? All right, let's go back through. Come on, line it up. Line them up. Let's, uh, let's just make this quick jump. Boom. Done. Let's keep going. I think we're almost near the boss. I would assume, though, that most of you have already made up your mind on this game uh, from the footage already shown. It's a fairly simple game, but it is a, a straight-up callback. And we actually see this a lot right now, that, that everyone's kind of trying to go for this quote-unquote retro feel. And... and trying to play on your nostalgia. Uh, but I think this game does it better than most, if not all of them. It just does a smart job. You know? It's a really good job at uh, playing on your nostalgia. Oh, shit! Why'd I just destroy all that? God damn it. Does that reload if I leave this room? I don't actually know. I didn't mean to do that. See? Damn it! We can't go that way. I think that just unlocks an alternate path, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, that unlocks that upward path. Wait, there's more shit over here. Little secrets behind that. Just a little, little bit of extra gold. Oh shit, I forgot there's a second one. So, I mean, mini bosses, straight up stuff out of Mega Man. Like, through and through, that is Mega Man. Little assholes that'll fuck with your jump, straight up Mega Man. I think there's a secret up top there, if I remember correctly. Let's 
go. Yep. I do recall correctly. Ah. Now I can actually bounce that back at them. It'll explode. Did I miss any secrets in this place earlier? When I first came through, I'm not sure. I think that's a wall. Let's go up here. I can't explode that wall. There are walls like this where you actually can see uh, that there's like an identifier or some sort of uh, thing telling you that that's possible. And there's ones where they're just straight up secret, like that one. I just happened to know that that was there somehow. I, I'm not... Sorry guys, I'm really good at video games. And we're making some money here. I think the boss is uh, coming up. Oh shit, don't kill me. Boom, got it. Lock it up. Did I really just say that? Sorry, that's all my years of working at MLG coming into fruition there. Oh, all right. I think it's time to go fight the boss. There's always a checkpoint right before the boss. Oh, did I get all these? No, I need that extra five month gold. Oh, there's also that there. Shit, I don't think I can get that. Oh, I did it. Alright, good. Does this blow up? What about that one over there? Oh shit, I missed the jump up. But I can just do this, can I? No! Boom, got it. I think there might be one right here. Yeah. Let's see. Got this. Leads to this area over here. Which I already have, so we're actually not going to go over there. Musical notes uh, unlock different stuff to where you can play different songs in the town. And they also give you 500 gold per. There's a little bit of platforming straight from the olden days. Boom, got it. It's not as hard as like, uh, I think Mega Man 10 was the latest one. I don't know, super difficult. Oh shit. I think this is the save. Oh no, it's this asshole. Shit, 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 shit. Do your second one. No! Alright, whatever, he'll give me some food. He's got a lot of gold. Alright, I think that means that it's boss time. Yep, here's the save. I think you can do runs where you can blow all those up. And I don't know what you get for it. Maybe it's like a special unlock or something. But here's the boss. It's King Knight. Straight up Mega Man. The Enchantress is kind of like Dr. Wily, if I had to make a comparison. Spoilers. A decadent dandy. I imagine all these people speaking in like... Uh, <laughs> Shovel Justice. Speaking in like British accents. I need to change this. It's probably the best sub weapon in the game. So you can just straight up cheese shit. Oh my god, that just straight up destroys that guy. Untouched. Give me that feet. Sparker? I don't know what that means. Maybe that's what I was sparking the ground? I don't know. Uh, did that load anything? So, I guess I... Hmm. 
No, I haven't done this yet. Let's see what this is. I think this is just like a money run. Oh, okay, so this is this. Look at that. Oh, I didn't fucking hit it fast enough. Damn, I gotta go recover all that gold. So it is kind of Dark Soulsy, in the sense that you gotta recover shit when you lose them. I guess I should just be spamming that. Oh shit. Fuck, man. That's like. <laughs> there's like maybe four frames there that I have to hit. Come on, JP. You're recording. You're a better video gamer than this. Stop sucking. There we go. I missed that gold one, but whatever. Whoa. Those assholes blow it up. Of course they do. Okay, good. Oh, let's get this big block. It probably has some shit in it. Alright, good. We did good in that room. Oh, shit. First tried it. These are like little challenge rooms. I like these. Boom. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, we got... Okay, we got, we got a little musical note for that. I think I lost a lot of gold, though, when I died all those times. So what does that unlock? Oh, it's just a little bonus room. Okay. Uh, let's go to the triple pond here. Maybe we can get him to sing us a song. Yes, I would like this. And now it's time for the truffle apple song. Sorry, trout apple song. What? You're not going to sing for me? Fuck you. Asshole. Oh, let's go buy some stuff. So one thing that will happen, uh, probably after I defeat one of these bosses here, is that uh, little guys will spawn uh, on the map. And you can actually go have little mini fights with them, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what that does. I already killed that one. You know what? Let's go on this stuff. Or what is this one down here? Shortcut? Oh, that'll send me back. All right, let's go to the Hall of Champions. There's like 5k to enter or something. I don't know what's in here. One place. I don't know what this is. Oh, shit. Uh. Can I make that jump? I can it's like a challenge room or something? Wait, what? I don't know what that is. Oh, shit. Damn, can I destroy this? Asshole. 
I gotta get these. No, oh, okay, I thought they were disappearing for good. There we go. Saw a secret wall over here. Oh, I wonder if those are all the devs. Oh, I bet you these are all the, uh... Oh, shit. I bet you these are all the, uh, Kickstarters or something like that. All the backers. How the fuck do I get over there? Can I fall down? I got that one kind of timed out. Boom! Got it. Give me all that money. What do you guys say? Oh, now the ghost will get us both. Who cares? Uh, are the ghosts back? Nice, they don't re respawn. Shit, I need to get that over here. Oh yeah, now everything's in color. Shit. Yeah, those must be all the backers or something. I don't think that many people worked on the game. Let's keep going over here. Motherfucker. Got it. Mother Trucker. Really? Got him. Wait, what? God damn it. I guess I... Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Can I break this shit? Wait, how am I supposed to... Okay, we'll just do this. There we go. Now everyone's good. Oh, that person's got purple hair. Let's go to the right first. So in terms of what you get when you beat the game, I have heard that there is a new game plus. That there is uh, like a battle mode or something that has all the bosses in it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of stuff though to do after you kind of defeat the, the main game, if it were. Which is good, because uh, for 15 bucks, uh, I mean, you get a, a good chunk of game, but it's definitely not... Uh... I mean, uh, look, the game's fantastic, right? You get a good amount, but there is some that, uh, you know, could could be more wanting. Can I break this? Wait, can I just walk out? But what do I have left to do? I thought I did everything. I haven't done this yet. Where's the ball? Oh, the ball's probably down there. Hmm. 
Mother Trucker. Okay, hold on. There we go. Gotta hit all this shit. There we go. Wonder if this is gonna unlock a boss or something. Gotcha. There's last ones like right here. Yeah. Boom. And that should be it. Oh shit, we gotta fight a big boss. A big ghost. What are you throwing at me, buddy? Hold on, let's get the uh, base locked up. Wow, this guy's kind of annoying. I haven't even hit him once. There we go. They got two balls. I mean, two balls is always better than one, right? Dick jokes, does that, that still work? We're still a fan of dick jokes, everyone. Ah. Oh, shit. One more hit. Got him. Yahtzee. Fucking just styling all over this fool. Damn, that was 6,000? That was a lot. Is that all? <laughs> that's pretty good. See, that's what I mean. The, the devs they're pretty funny. They're pretty great. Hall champion. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, let's go show one funny thing, and then uh, we'll call it call it a JPOV. This game's great. If you have any doubts, just pick it up. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Plus, there's this guy. I wish. Someone could cheer me up. Let's end the JPOV with a joke. Um, what do they serve for breakfast on the flying machine? Also, watch the frog after the joke is told. Two eggs, hover easy. Watch them. Such a good frog. Such a good animation. Guys, that's going to do it for this JPOV. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Shovel Knight's $15 on Steam, 3DS, and the Wii U. Pick it up if you want to have a good time. It's fantastic. We'll see you guys later. I'm JP Mechano signing out. Bye-bye.